Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? YouTube, what's up, y'all? What's up? Hey, I like I like this blue filter. I look cute in the motherfucker. This shit. Let's let's do it in this one. Though. All right. So a lot of people been asking me about my Sephardic Jewish heritage. So I'm gonna talk about it in this video. I don't got much to say, so it's gonna be quick. I mean, I got a lot of Sephardic Jewish heritage, as far as I know. But um, it's gonna be quick. It's, I'm just gonna wrap it up. My two grandparents, who I know, have Sephardic Jewish roots. Or my paternal Cuban grandfather, and my paternal Cuban, my paternal Ecuadorian grandmother. Okay, so my paternal Cuban grandfather is of Sephardic descent. His mother, um, his mother, what's it called? His mother was a very religious, um, Sephardic Jew, whatever, and his grandmother and shit. What, what, what's up, Hero? What's up, yeah? So, and then he married a woman, you know, my grandmother, my Ecuadorian grandmother, who, um, her last name is a Sephardic conversal name. It's Pazmino. It's only in Ecuador. You only find the name in Ecuador. So some Sephardic Jewish family who came to Ecuador um, in like the 1500s, whatever, fucking 1600s something. So it's Pazmino. That's P-A-Z, like Paz. Like, déjame en paz, no me jodas, tengo autismo. Por favor, respétame. Um, Pazmino. Paz, and then Min, M-I-N. No, wait, M-I-N-Y. And you know, and with the little squiggly shit. Oh, look that up. So, um, that's basically that. So, I, I mean, my dad would always tell me that, um, you know, my Cuban grandfather would tell him that his mother was a very religious Sephardita Jewish Julia woman, you know. So, I always knew that. But, you know, it took a little, little Google search to find out that my grandmother's last name is also Sephardic. So that's cool that they, you know, but, you know, my, my grandfather, my Cuban grandfather is fully, you know, Spaniard. And um, my Ecuadorian grandmother, she's she's triracial. She's part of that, whatever you want to call it. You know, she's like pretty much the equal mix of Native American and European Spanish. And um, the rest is African. So about like 440 on both of them and the rest being African. Some, some along the lines, you know. So, um... So yeah, they're both of Sephardic descent. That's my Sephardic Jewish heritage right there. That's it from two grandparents. And um, yes, I, I'm proud of my my Sephardic roots. Always that there. Because that's a lot of my that's a lot of my Spanish heritage, you know. It's a lot of that shit. So I mean yeah. Well, that's all I want to talk about in this video. Check out my DNA results. So check it out with some other shit. Um you know, I'm Cuban, Ecuadorian, three-fourths Cuban, one-fourth Ecuadorian. I know it's just a nationality. But, you know, I've got three grandparents from Ecuador, one grandparent from Cuba. Um, I'm from South Florida, Brown County, you know this. I'm not five, four, rest in peace. SSS, long live, Jase. Okay, okay, Brown County, J born and raised, you know this. And um, what's a, what else? I live in Ecuador. I live in Ecuador now. It's for the past year almost. Um, and that's that. That's that. That's all I wanted to say in this. It's only three minutes. Shit felt a lot longer than that. Anyways, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed my my description of mine. Well, that's it. A little, little quick summary of you know my Sephardic Jewish heritage, where that comes from. And for my other grandparents, I don't think I got any Sephardic roots at all. I think they're mostly like descendants of what's it called? Um, like Northern Europeans, like my, my grandmother, my maternal grandmother, she got Basque roots, a lot of Basque roots. But she also got Southern Spaniard, um, I mean, Northern Spaniard, you know, like Northern Spaniard, like Basque, Vasco. That's what a lot of her heritage is. Her last name is Basque, Vasco. Usquera, however you pronounce it. Um, what else? My, uh, my, my, my maternal grandfather too, I think most of his roots are from Northern Spain. But from my from my Cuban grandpa, all his grandparents are from the Canary Islands and southern Spain. So yeah. So yeah. Spain's diverse, y'all. You gotta understand this. And again, just to throw this in here, I'm very proud I don't have any other European roots. Okay. Um, check out my DNA results though. I'm very proud of that. I mean, like all the other regions of Europe on my ancestry DNA test and my 23 DNA test. 23 and me your my 23 and me dna test and my ancestor dna test all my other regions that aren't um iberian they're all like so tiny like so measly little baby percentages like under two percent all of them so um 
I'm proud of that. I'm very proud to just be about burying the scent on my European side. And of course, you know, 26% Native American, 4% West African. Proud of that too, always that. But I wouldn't want to be descending from any other European. I don't got nothing against other people who are though. But I'm proud that I'm not. I'm happy that I'm not. So, um, oh, yo, yo, that's, that's, yes. Oh, that's, that, that, you know what I was making this whole video for? Thank you. I'm glad you joined. Okay, do you know your Sephardic ancestors went to Latin? Yes, I mean, I know. Like I said, like, um, you know, I got Sephardic roots from my, my two paternal grandparents who are from two different countries, one from Cuba, one from Ecuador. My grandmother being from Ecuador, Guayaquil, Ecuador, and my grandfather being from Havana, Cuba. Okay, so my, my grandmother's last name is a Sephardic, a Sephardic conversal name. So like Sephardic people who converted and came to the new world. It's a name you can only find in Ecuador. It's Paz Niño, Paz Niño, that's Paz, M-I-N-Y-A. Oh, oh, I mean, oh, not A, Paz Niño. It's, yeah, so Paz Niño. And that's a Sephardic conversal name. And while she was alive, my grandfather didn't even know that she was also Sephardic. I, I wish I wish um he knew that. But I told him since then. But anyways. So, but you know, my, my Cuban grandfather. But okay, yeah, but um that family, the Pasminio, there's a lot of Pasminios in Ecuador. So that's very distant. Like they came in like the 1600s or late 1500s, I think. Probably 1600s. I'm probably yeah, probably 1600s. But um, so they converted, they came here, but they they're Sephardic people. So, um, and then my Cuban grandfather, like his mother, according to him, I don't know why he would lie about this. Some, some Mexican dude was saying they probably, he probably lying. Like my grandfather is a white Cuban. He is the most proud motherfucker on the planet. He has no reason to lie about any of this. So, um, you know, he said his mom and his grandmother would practice Judaism, you know, like they were like very religious and shit. And she would like wear her little star David, whatever they be wearing. So yeah, so that's, that's cool. That's my Sephardic Jewish heritage, you know, from my Cuban side and from my um, Ecuadorian side. And yeah. And from my Ecuadorian side, I know that the Pasminos that came from like Extremadura, Extremaduras, Extremaduras, I forgot how you say, from southern Spain. Do you think they left Spain? Do you think they left Spain to escape the Spanish Inquisition? I mean, for sure. That's why the Pasmino came, I guess. But they also converted. Like, it's either convert or get the fuck out, I guess. That's what the Inquisition was, basically. Convert or leave um no converter like die too so yeah i mean like but then my cuban grandfather because like his ancestors came to latin america recently like 1500 16 no wait nah what the fuck was on like 1700s 1800s like his grandparents like his great grandparents like most of them all immigrants from like the canary islands in southern spain so i mean I'm, I'm sure there was a bunch of pockets of little sephardic jews who would practice it behind closed doors like his mother wasn't openly religious in cuba so that's that's what I think that is. That's what I think that is. And um yeah. So I mean, yeah, so I mean that's it. I mean the Pasmina ones definitely they, they converted, so they're like sixteen hundreds, came out to Ecuador. And then from my Cuban grandfather, I don't think they must have been practicing in private because um yeah. I right, y'all, well um yo, I did this video for you because I'm I wanted to go kind of in depth for this, so so peace, so you could know, you know, for whoever else cares, um, in the future. So yes, shout out G Giovanni seventy eighty, thank you for um asking, yes, and I, I'm sure like a lot of Latinos have Sephardic roots, and um I don't know, just look up your last name or something. I don't know how you'd find out, but I mean my. My grandmother's last name was straight up fucking Sephardic Conversal family. So that's cool. But that's, you know, it's a really common last name in Ecuador. So a lot of people descend from these families. But um, that's that. Okay. What's well, raining outside? I'm going to slide out. Um, thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. Thank you for asking. And um, stay tuned. I got, um, I don't know what else, whatever random shit I want to post coming up. So yes. Thank you for watching, Giovanni, and everybody. Everybody, and some other people were asking me about my Sephardi Jewish roots too, so answer this all in one, one little video. All right, y'all, I wanna make this under 10 minutes. That way somebody will watch this, cause like I'll be making lies that'll be like six hours long, ain't nobody gonna watch that. But um, anyways, y'all, thank you. Thank you, Giovanni, I appreciate you. And um, I don't, I'm gonna head out now, okay?
corner. All right, thank you for thank you for asking. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you.